right, thank you so much, John. I'm super excited about this demonstration. <laughs> We're talking pancakes because it is National Pancake Day. We like to celebrate our food holidays Naturally. in style. Why wouldn't we? Exactly. Why wouldn't and we? They're food days. National Pancake Day is appropriately named because we're going to name, not name, but we're going to uh, make you take you're all the work make away. Me. Well, we're not making <laughs> you, but you're going to do all the work this morning, and you're going to show us how to make your famous pancakes. I don't know how Renee's. I mean, they're Renee's famous <laughs> pancakes, but uh, I've still. Despite last week's announcement that she has finally agreed to come on the show, oh, yeah, that's right. she's not here, so uh, we're calling the bluff she's right there. She's making you do it. No, okay, yeah. so, so basically, there are box pancakes, and a lot of people are. do that out of ease. And the reason I wanted to show this recipe is because it is so easy to do. Okay. It really is. You, you, yes, it's a little bit more than your box pancake, but they taste a lot better as well. So here's what we start with. We start with... Uh, two tablespoons of canola oil. You want to mix up your wet ingredients here. Okay. Then, let's see, was it, I believe it was one cup of milk. I'm going to pour that in there. And then here's the tricky part. Here's what uh, the, the part that I'm most nervous about doing on TV here. The egg. I don't want to screw up the egg, so let's, uh, let's get it right here. Come on. Oh, nice. there we go. I love that. You there did that go. with confidence, Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I tried. I'm glad I hid that uh, lack of confidence in the egg uh, cracking right. stuff there. All right. And then you mix it up. You want to get that egg yolk broken up. Now, I have a question for you. I drink fat-free milk. Can you substitute any type of milk, or do you have to use whole milk? What's the best option? You, well, I use fat-free milk all the time. I think I'm using whole milk this time around, okay. but normally I do. I use fat-free milk because that's what I have at home. I prefer that. Uh, it'll change the fluffiness, though. If you okay. use the whole milk, yeah, it'll change the fluffiness. But it'll also add fat into your pancakes right. that you may want to save so those calories saying, for the syrup. So you're saying you're saying it tastes better <laughs> if you use whole milk? Yeah, it could taste better. But you better. can use it either way. It could, yeah. It'll okay. work either way. It'll work either way. And then we have your dry ingredients here you want to mix up. And this is really what's replacing your box pancake here. This is really all that's in it. You have your one and a quarter cup of flour you want to put in. Then you have one tablespoon of sugar. And you can see my little sticky notes here giving me, uh, so I remember the measurements. Half teaspoon of salt. This is uh, kosher salt there. It's a little, little chunkier. I like it. And then the last part here, and this is what makes it rise, is the baking powder. You have two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay. And this is the part that people don't know, and I actually didn't know this until my wife uh, taught me this. I mixed and mixed and mixed until every last lump was gone. But what she says is you really only need to mix it just until all the ingredients are wet. Oh, so you've got a so couple minutes of mixing. Like over mixing it. I was over mixing. And even now she'd probably say stop and I'd say no, I'm gonna <laughs> since it's my show. <laughs> I'm, gonna keep I'm gonna going. I'm gonna keep going. So you've got here, you've got it mixed, and I'm trying not to bang the table here. This is really easy. And I'm a I am a box pancake kind of gal. So Michael, I'm, I'm gonna fun. have to take you up on this recipe too and just try it on a Saturday morning. I think this is great. Super easy, not a lot of ingredients. You know what's convenient about it also, now that you want the recipe, I've already put it up on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Henrik News. So I plan to head there a little bit and, uh, and got that taken care of for you, China. Okay. All right. Well, how many pancakes would you say this batch makes? It all, it all depends. If you like the giant pancakes, it's going to make fewer. If you like the, uh, there we go. Is this going to stay? I don't know if this yeah, is going to stay. Yeah, that'll be good. All right. All right. Let's oh, put that there. Nope. nope there it didn't go. stay. All right. We're okay. It's just an anchor desk. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no what, big deal. I usually use a little quarter cup here. Uh, let's see, you can make, this, this will, you can make up to 10 or something like okay. that. So you have your grill here, 350 degrees is usually what we put it at. I usually grab the, uh, and I did over mix a little bit, so I'm guilty of that. I usually put, use a quarter cup to do this, but I have a half cup here today, so I'm kind of just filling it halfway. What I do is I put it down and then I kind of spread it so it's not too thick, because these will rise a little bit. And you want to do that, and I'm not going to make them totally even, because I'm trying to get this on. And while these are cooking, we're going to take a look at really the most important part of having pancakes, and the only reason I have pancakes, actually, is because... <laughs> the maple syrup. Right. It's really just something to soak up maple syrup. And, uh, <laughs> and we don't have maple syrup here today. We have Aunt Jemima's, but these are the four grades of maple syrup. <laughs> and a lot of people don't know that there are only four grades of maple syrup. That thin one over there on the left is called Fancy. Uh, if you buy it from Vermont, they'll call it Vermont Fancy. It is uh, named that way because it is the fanciest. It is the lightest. It is the most subtle flavor. So if you're looking to have a really strong maple flavor on your pancakes, this isn't it. This is more just kind of like to glaze things and all that. The okay. next one over is grade A medium amber, 
which as you can see is a little bit Are darker. Are they really that color? I've never seen syrup that looks like that. Oh yes. No, seriously. Oh yeah, no really. Those are, that's, those are the colors. That's the most accurate picture that I could find. You can get sample packs like this, and when I lived in Vermont, uh, I, I loved getting sample packs like this. It's fun to kind of try the different, different grades of syrup and all that. And personally, as we get more to the right, that's where you get to my favorite syrups here. So we've got the grade A medium, and that people use that on pancakes and everything, and waffles, and they like it. You'll see most of the time that next one, the second from the right, that's grade A dark amber. That has a richer maple taste, but if you really want overkill, grade B on the right <laughs> is like, is the best. And that to me, there's nothing like grade B. What, and what you can't even so find it all the time. Grade B. And what you want to do, by the way, is while you're, when you're here, if you haven't made pancakes before, you really do want to look out for these bubbles here as they're starting to bubble. And you can see it here in the tight shots. There we go. And you want to kind of look under and see what color they are. And they're still pretty light. So what I'm going to do since we're on live TV is I'm going to do what I'm not supposed to do. And I'm going to crank it up to 400 degrees and see what that does for us and speed up the process. <laughs> but if we want to look, take a look back at the syrups there, the grade B syrup is the one you also want to cook with. So if you're not necessarily a huge, hey, I need to take shots of maple syrup kind of person uh, on, your, <laughs> on your pancakes or waffles, that's the one you're going to want to cook with if you're making any baked goods. So just to review here. This is, and we'll probably toss the break because these aren't cooking quickly enough, so we'll have I to think check you, out. I think we can flip this one. You think this one's think good? So. Oh, the closer. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, still light, China. It is still it's light. It's still pretty light. But, but it gives you an idea. And you didn't even use butter. No, I didn't use any griddle. butter. This I is love just that. A, this is just a nonstick uh, non griddle. And the thing is with me, when you're using the right kind of syrup, and I know I'm going on about the syrups and it's National Pancake you Day, are. not National <laughs> Syrup Day, but when you have the right syrup, doesn't need to be that buttery a pancake. Really? You know okay. I mean? See, I always stick most to like, anyway. you know, the the Aunt Jemima mm -hmm. and just the, I've never had real legitimate maple grade B syrup. Oh, well, I'll have to bring in some just just for the crew. I okay. promise. I'll bring in some. So basically, just to review, you have one, two, three, four, five. Can I flip? Six and a half. Sure, flip away. You have six, six or seven simple ingredients. It gets you out of the boxes. I guarantee you it will taste better. The recipe is on Facebook.com slash Henrik News. Thank you for enjoying this cooking demonstration. Oh, I love that. Look you like that? Look at it. Look came out. And look at your flipping. I know. Nice job. I need, I need to uh, work on my eating skills now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll practice. Try this out. We'll cook the bottom half, and we'll, uh, we'll take a break, and we'll probably be eating when we come back. Stay tuned.